Okay, what's going on, everyone? Tropical Planet update. Um, it's been a while since I've done this, like because I was on vacation. And now I'm going back to the once a week form uh, format like I did uh, last year, and I do mostly in the winter for the greenhouse. So it's gonna be every Wednesday. It's gonna be a Tropical Planet update until probably maybe close to October when the plants come in and it will transfer to the um, indoor greenhouse update. So we have to wait a little bit more time on that. But let's get started with this video. Token trees looking really good, got a lot of green on still. We got new leaves growing already on here. This plant's growing really, really fast now. We got new sets of leaves growing right here. These two. And then we had weed one probably grow maybe like a month or two ago. So they're growing a lot faster than they were when it first started. So that's good news. This plant's definitely growing and, and somewhat healthy. You know it's a little bit even though it looks a little bit brown stuff here. I think that's from the humidity, because I mean humidity is not as high as it would be in like Key West or Hawaii. And that's really the only reason why those leaves look brown. But everything else looks really, really healthy. And obviously, if it's growing new leaves, it must be healthy. Got the beta trees down here looking good. They're all stuck together in here. They're doing pretty good. Oh, we got the Hawaiian flowers right here. They're looking really good. Everything, these, this one, this one are finally a year old since I started planting them. So they're doing really good. Passion fruit's looking real good. Actually, when I was in California, I had my very first passion fruit. It actually does taste really, really good, but it was nothing like I expected. It was a hard outer shell, and it's like a lot of juice stuff inside. It was pretty interesting. Didn't expect that, but it tasted really, really good. I'm definitely excited. Hopefully next year we get some passion fruit. I'm actually very excited for that now. Over here we got some new plants grown. Um, this is from the cactus pear. These are seeds. Actually, I, again, that's, that's really, really good. First time trying that too. So I'm very excited to see uh, how they taste. Hopefully they grow. Cause I bet they taste really, really good it, from these ones too. So it might be a little bit though. It could be probably have to wait till next year, the year after. I'm not sure how long they need to grow, how long they need to grow until I get them. But hopefully, hopefully, see, that's pretty cool. I think I'm trying out. But that's not all. I'll show you guys in one second. What else I'm trying. Um, but this is the lemon tree looking good. We got a lot of new leaves growing. This we got more up there growing. And back there, this one's looking really good. No flowers on it yet, but I think it's still too small. Same with the lime. We did have flowers on it a couple times this summer, but they didn't really, they didn't really make it too long because the plant's still too small. But I think this time next year, definitely without doubt, I think we'll be seeing some baby fruit on both seeds. And then we got the orange tree over here. We got um, looking really good, looking tall. It's almost as tall as me. It's up to my eyes right now. This is the eye level. It's looking really good. In California, the people that were staying with had a huge, like maybe like triple size of this orange tree and a lemon tree and they're really cool they got a ton of them they have they had two lemon trees and an orange tree they said they had too many oranges or too many uh, lemons they didn't know what to do with them but in a couple years that might, that might be me too even though it's in the pot we're still going to get a ton of fruit from all three of these so definitely looking forward to that so we have a lot of limes and lemons and oranges very excited for that but sadly we lost one of our oranges that was one of the, the ones that are starting to turn colors um so i'm not sure what happened that i couldn't find the remains of it, not too sure what's going on, but this one's still doing good. This one's a pretty big orange compared to my hand, palm of my hand. Pretty decent size. They got a little bit more to go before it starts turning orange. And I'll be able to have my first fruit um, from a tropical plant. This will actually be, this actually could be the very first fruit that I ever had from any of my tropical plants I had up here. Because uh, they're, they're all still, still still too young, other than the pomegranate. But last last couple years, the pomegranate man had halfway and then it stopped growing and fell off. But I hope this year is different. Actually, it's looking, looking really good. We have a ton on here. I got kind of 24, 25 ish. They're doing real good. So hopefully by by maybe November, December, we'll have some oranges and we'll have some pomegranates. That'll be really, really cool. First two tropical fruits I get to have for growing my own up in Pittsburgh. So that's pretty cool. Not too many people get to say that. This is the biggest one. It's actually pretty good, you see, compared to my hand. This is actually doing really, really good. It's a lot bigger than I think it was before. So I think we hit a record of biggest pomegranate so far is doing really good i don't see anything wrong with it so it should be good to go so i'm very excited hopefully we'll have some oranges and pomegranates in this winter we've got some figs over here fig tree looking really good we've got new leaves growing here new branches growing out this is the light the light green stuff you can see here looking real good i'm not sure what's up with the leaves i don't think that's really such a big deal i think they're fine because we have got new ones growing here but they're all doing guys gotta do some watering here Got the coconut tree, or not the coconut tree, the palm tree. I always say that, I always mess, mess it up. 
And then over here we got one, uh, I forget to call it rum, rumbleus fruit. I'm gonna have, it's gonna be the name in the description, but I forget how to pronounce it. It's, it's like really one of those really small ones that have like a bunch of like, looks like thorns on them. It's a red, reddish, pinkish color. It's really, really weird. It has like, if you open it up, it has like a white center. You eat that, it has a seed. I'll put it in the description. I, don't, I gotta figure out how to pronounce it. But I'll how to grow. It takes it takes about 10 to 21 days for it to sprout. Hopefully it works, but it's a very sensitive plant. It's similar to the coconut tree. It definitely has you definitely have to stay upstairs during the winter. It's one of the guy in the coconut tree are gonna be the most sensitive plants I'm gonna have. So you definitely gonna keep a good eye on them um, in the winter. But over here we got the the flowers over here. Looking really good. We got these ones opening up still. It, lastly, they're, I heard they're really, really nice, but now they're starting to end it now, and then a new cycle will come up from the new plants, like right here. These, these new plants will be next generation to flower, and then all of these ones. So these ones going to be pinkish color. Um, these ones are going to be the the new yellow ones, and these ones going to be the red ones. So they're going to go, you can see right here, too. Those gonna these ones are going to die off, and these going to have these, well, as I fall, fall down the hill, the little seed pods here. And then that's going to be it for that, and then new plants will start growing. That's pretty interesting. Everything's so dead. We went from having the wet summer, I think, in a long time, to having the driest in a matter of a couple weeks. It is so dry. We got the banana tree right here growing, looking good. We got the new one at least growing out there. We got some baby ones growing, growing below. So that's looking good here. Let's go over here. See the. I had to do some trimming over here because it was starting to block the um pineapple plant. But it's looking really good. These things growing out of the center. It's a very healthy plant. I step, take a step back. It's looking really, really good. And since it's going to be upstairs in the winter, I want to plant that. We'll be upstairs. The plant continue to grow. It's going to be in the heat and sun, natural sun, like all year round now. So it's going to be really good. I'm looking really looking forward to that. Hopefully, it'll do all the small plants will do really, really good upstairs. Cause since I don't have room for the big one, or so I would have all of them upstairs. But the orange tree, lemon tree, lime tree, and uh, pineapple plant, I think are going to be the, not pineapple plant, uh, um, Pomegranate are gonna be the ones downstairs. I'm not sure if I miss anything. And one of the banana trees, that's the banana trees. Not these ones, these ones will probably be upstairs, but the smaller ones will probably be downstairs. Separate them, but they normally do really good. So I also want to keep the little plants safe. So these ones are looking really good. The banana tree is looking huge. This we should be open up by tomorrow. They're looking really, really good. I think definitely a lot bigger than we ever had them before. Probably because we had such a wet summer to start off with. Now we're gonna be hot and dry. So they're doing really, really good. So hope you guys enjoy this update. I will see you guys next Wednesday for another awesome tropical plant update thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week